reach for the speed, reach for the whistle, go where the rail may run. Reach for the words, reach for the story, follow the rainbow sun. To a shining time station, where dreams can come true, waiting there for you. So much to see, so far to travel, so much to learn to know. Friends by your side, hopes to hold on to, who knows how far you'll go. To a shining time station, where dreams can come true. Your own imagination waiting there for you. The following short movie was paid for by Schemer. We had nothing to do with it. And now, Schemer presents a series of really worthwhile buying, can't miss inspirational video lessons that sometimes teach you stuff. Produced by Schemer, written by Schemer, directed by Schemer, and starring Schemer as himself. Taped on location in his very own room. And now, let's join me. And now, let's do lunch. <laughs> and do you know why? Well, because it has something to do with today's lesson, which is... How to have good table manners. Now... I'm going to demonstrate, along with my little nephew, Little Schemy here, how to have good table manners while actually eating my own lunch before my very own eyes. But first, of course, one question. Why? Why is it so important to have good table manners? Well, first off, because, well, let's be honest about it. Eating is one of those things where, well, it's easy to offend other people. And heavens knows you don't want to do that. Mm. Oh, bing! <laughs> you want people to respect you, and you want to respect other people just as you want them to respect you. So you have to learn to eat correctly. And may I say something right here to you? This stuff is really, really good. Mm, I am hungry. <coughs> Feed me! So am I, Uncle Schemer. I am hungry, so let's have lunch. Patience, 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 my frisky little lad. All right, that's why table manners are important. Now, I want you to watch and learn, okay? There we go. Ah. Mm. You know, Schemer, this is the truth. It's interesting because table manners is one of those kind of occasions where I personally have nothing to learn. Do you know what I mean? Because... Well, I have a ton of them. It's as if I have a, uh, a big canvas bag of them in a crate, and the crate is inside my head, and the bag is in my mind. That's how fully equipped I am with really good table manners. All right, my friend. Begin the chow down! <laughs> Who could that be in the middle of the afternoon? I'll find out. Bang! My mommy's not home. No problem. He asked me to give her an estimate on painting the house. Just act like I'm not here. Ed Huey. Gesundheit. I'm Schemer. This is my little nephew, Little Schemy. Oh, Mr. Schemer and nephew, be my guests. Mm -hmm. Eat, drink, live and love. Act like I'm not here. Mm. I'm crazy by me. Mm. Mm. That's, uh... Fine young lad you have there, that nephew of yours. <laughs> I've got four kids of my own and three grandchildren. <laughs> hey, don't talk with your mouth full. That's uh, impolite. Hey, listen, pal, we're taping a show here about table manners. Do you mind? Oh, absolutely not. <laughs> Just act like I'm not here. Oh, fine, right. Ah, spaghetti, mm, good. Spaghetti, right. <laughs> Oh, I just said spaghetti. Oh, and even the spaghetti. What do oh, you know? I knew it. <laughs> just the same as linguine, only thinner. <laughs> Can I please finish doing what I am doing? Oh, no, Mr. Schemer, you may do whatever you want as far as I'm concerned. Right. Me, I'm not here. Mm. Good. Okay. All right. I'm eating and I have to talk at the same time about having good manners. Now. Mm. Now. 
knives and forks and stuff. You need to pay attention. Knives and forks are really important, so every once in a while you should use them. That's so. And after a bit, Bobby, you should use two or three of these things. They're really good to have. So the main thing is keep your face down and breathe, 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 breathe. Stop it! Stop right there! I thought you weren't here. Sir, that is not the way to eat. I'd be embarrassed and ashamed to eat that way in front of a young lad like that. Uh, excuse your uncle, son? You're excused, Uncle Schemer. Hey, 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 hey. Nobody excuses me. I excuse him. You are excused. All right. And what's it to you anyway? I like the way I eat. But, uh, sir, that is not the way to eat. This is the proper way. You sit up straight. You put your napkin on your lap. You keep your left hand in your lap, unless you're using it to hold the fork while you use the knife. Mm -hmm. Now, you bring the food up to your face, mm -hmm. not the other way round. I'm full. Oh, <laughs> there. <laughs> yes, that's it. Now, chew the food properly. Right, well, what I'm going to say is that... No. Now, now, don't talk with your mouth full. Oh, give, me give me a sock, 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 give me a sock. Sir, if you want the salt, you ask for it nicely. Please pass the salt. Please pass the salt. Hey, you know something? I've actually learned something today, and I feel an inspiration to put it to music. Put your napkin on your lap, sit up straight, don't be a sap. Do say thank you and please don't talk with a mouthful of peas or cheese and ask nicely for the salt. And if anything happens, it happens, don't worry because it won't be, it won't be your fault. It won't be your fault. If you apply about it, it won't be your fault. If you apply about it, it won't be your fault. If you apply about it. <sighs> That's much better. Ah. Wow. Yeah, that hooey. He was, you know something? I really... Elbows off the table! Wow. Well, I'm not so sure I want to have you see me like this right now, but I do know I'd like to see you next time when I can see you seeing me when Schemer presents... Schemer presents. Thank you. We hope you've enjoyed the show and that you'll come back and see us again soon. Remember to drive carefully and have a safe trip home. <laughs>